Now, a proper French dip sandwich, um, you make a beautiful roast beef and you take the jus and you dip the French bread in the jus, fill it with the thinly sliced beef. That's straight up from back in the day. Who's got time, right? Especially if you're having a friends over for football night. So I go with the good old deli roast beef. <laughs> you just ask them to shave a, a good quality roast beef for you, nice and thin. And then to make the jus, I just buy beef consomme. Beef consomme is on your canned soup aisle in every grocery store out there. And the only difference is, if you look at the product inside the can, you can see it's much thicker. Yeah, the consistency looks like right. almost like oil. This has gelatin in it. Huh. It's broth that has the gelatin from the bones. You know, bone marrow is yeah. that great flavor. Yeah. So this actually coats the roll and the meat, I think, better than just serving it with jus. Sure. Serving it traditionally. First, I'm going to show you two different types of French dip sandwiches today. The first one I think is kind of brilliant because it's a matchup of two, mashup of two of my favorite dishes, French onion soup with uh. the cheesy crouton and a French dip sandwich. <laughs> so what I did was, for every sandwich you're going to be making, so say you're making four French dips, you need one large softball size onion. You cook the onions low and slow in a little butter and I season it with ground thyme, salt, pepper, and a fresh bay leaf, mm. just like I'm making French onion soup. You're then going to add the liquids. Uh, I like to deglaze the onions, as I do when I make French onion soup, with a splash of dry sherry or with a nice crisp white wine. Mm. So you deglaze your onions, lift up all of the drippings and little bits of sugary goodness. And the smell is amazing. It's so good. Oh. So good. So then we're going to add a little of that beef consomme, just a little, because you want the onions to be saucy, but not too soupy, right? Now, I happen to love French onion dip as well. Who doesn't, right? Uh, stick your chips down in there. So you can add a lot of creme fraiche or sour cream to this and have a fantastic French onion dip. We're going to be using this in a sandwich, so I'm just going to add a dollop of creme fraiche to the onions mm. to give them a really luxurious, creamy taste and they'll just hang out on your tongue. Oh my God, I'm literally drooling. <laughs> Jess, I hope you don't mind if there's a little drool in your onions. Um, then we're going to take another large skillet, right, with our beef consomme or beef stock and we're going to take the French bread and oh. dip the entire Sandwich. See, that's that's interesting. Bathing it in the broth. I always Hand thought. Give me that metal pan down there, Jeff. I always thought it was like the wet roast beef that was making no, the, you, the bread. No, you dip the entire wow. bread in the and bathe it in the jus first. Then you take a portion of beef and heat it in the jus. Oh, I'm not done. <laughs> You're not even there yet. And then we're going to fill our sandwich with our juicy roast beef. Wow. And then we're going to top it with our creme fraiche onions. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then we're going to top it with Gruyere cheese, just like French onion soup. <laughs> now, Jess, Take this to the broiler and melt that cheese. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Nice. Pull that out, Jess. And there's our first French dip sandwich. Wow. Jesse's pulling it out. Look at that. Oh. That's unbelievable. The smell, the gruyere, and oh all my those God. onions. Oh, right? it's amazing. That is a French onion <laughs> soup French dip sandwich. Crazy. <laughs>